The form is made um, from silicone caulk, and this is what it looked like. Actually, this is a reused piece. Um, what I did was I took uh, some super clear Mod Podge and stuck it back down, and it stuck real good. And then uh, put a little bit of that Mod Podge and put some sand because I really want this one to be kind of organic with some flaws. Uh, and it does have a, a, a coat of um, silicone on the bottom. I just did that to make sure that it wasn't going to seep. Uh, because sometimes you, know, you have leakage, but this case, no. So in for a penny, in for a pound. We're fixing to do this. I'm not sure which color I'm going to start with first. I hope I made enough paint. But um, we'll go. I'm going to do it as a puddle pour. So let's just start with the middle. Some of the paints are translucent. Uh, some are not. So we're just going to keep pouring it in here. Hopefully it won't all completely take over what we're trying to accomplish, maybe. That outside rim already disappeared, which is really what I, not, what I wanted it to do. So you know what I'm going to do? going to take my white and kind of follow along the edge where this gold is um, to give me my first line and then I'll probably do one right next to it and then I'm not sure where I'm going to do the next one so I will come back uh, when I kind of figure out what I'm doing but I'm kind of going to just follow this edge of the gold um, and it's going to be kind of a strange line so We'll see how that goes, and when it gets through, I'll come back and show you. Let us see. So see, there you have one line. It's awfully dark in here. I may have to do this tomorrow during the daylight because you're not going to be able to see. Okay, I'm going to try to kind of show you the lines. I'm going to run this. I know that I have a bad reflection on there, but let's see if that's off a little bit. All right, me. I'm just going to run. And I see I have a little mistake right there in this. I just used a damp Q-tip to wipe it off. If you make a mistake, so and I'm just gonna not do anything, but just run around here. I don't like a little tip. I'm gonna go just freehand it, follow it along, same way we just did. What I did with the others. And if I need to go back, I will uh, just use a little Q-tip. Take off what I don't like, and if I don't like three lines, I can just go take it off. Basically, that's it. And I may go back and touch his lines up a little bit, but the paint pen works <coughs> really well. And I said it's very easy to erase. Uh, if you have something you don't like, you can just take that damp and it'll, it'll just rub it right off. So that's kind of it. And I think I'm going to put another layer on it tomorrow um, clear I might put a little bit of uh, translucent color in it I'm really not sure and I guess we'll see when tomorrow comes but anyway that's the premise 
you just draw some lines, use a little paint pen, works pretty good. Um, if you don't like the line, you just come back with, um, you know, a little Q-tip and it wipes right off. So anyway, that's it for now, and then uh, I'll finish it up tomorrow and see what we get. Okay, this is today's last coat, and I was trying to decide what to do. My, I'm I'm okay with my lines. One's a little wonky, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put my last coat um, of clear of resin on, and I'm just going to start the middle and just pour it out. But what I did was, I really wasn't real super sure if I wanted some glitter because yeah, I'm not a humongous glitter person. So what I did though is I just went ahead and mixed a little teeny tiny bit up. Oh, look, I got a hair in there already. That's what happens when you got dogs and cats. Um, and so what I'm going to do is just going to add a little bit. I mean, I made a little teeny tiny not not much at all and I'm just gonna kinda drizzle it around and and move it around so there's just a, a, a little bit on there um, I'm gonna tip this here this way a little bit let's get this to run a little better that way it's, it's a little high so I'm probably gonna have to push it but that's okay I may have to make a little more but all I'm gonna do though is I'm just gonna drizzle this in here because it's just got a little bit of and I, I'm not a humongous, like I said, glitter person. And this is just going to be just like a hint. And it should just spread out. And that's what I'm I'm hoping for because it's, I'm not, like I say, I'm not a humongous glitter person. So this is a very, very little bit. And all I did was take some uh, glitter fingernail polish. And I'll show you what I used. I used this uh, cheap... Uh, little sinful colors and I just put some of that because it's got some small glitter I tried some different kinds but some of them had too too big a chunky in there so now all I'm gonna do is take my blow dryer here and I mean, I'm gonna turn the light on it's gonna cause a reflection but I'm gonna turn the light on so I can see and turn my little blow dryer on actually I'm gonna use my big my big blow dryer because I can do it on high heat